oxygenated blood comes from the lungs into the left atrium and a valve opens up into the left ventricle through the aorta and to the body. The deoxygenated blood comes from the body to the right atrium and to the right ventricle and up to the lungs and out to get oxygen. From the lungs, the oxygenated blood travels to the left atrium. It goes down to the left ventricle. It travels up to the aorta and goes out of the body. From the body, the deoxygenated blood goes to the right atrium, then it goes down to the right ventricle, then it goes to the lungs, then it goes out the body. The oxygenated blood comes from the lung through the left atrium into the left ventricle and out through the aorta to the rest of the body. The unoxygenated blood comes from the body to the right atrium, then to the right ventricle. Then goes out to the lungs to get oxygen. The blood with no oxygen comes from the body to the right atrium, then it goes to the right ventricle, which goes to the lungs to get oxygen. The oxygenated blood then comes from the left atrium and then heads to the left ventricle and then goes to the aorta then goes throughout the body. This is the Tempest and Tatiana Heart Project. First, the blood with no oxygen goes from the upper body and lower body into the right, right atrium, atrium, then passes through the valves into the right, right ventricle, ventricle, then passes through more valves to a tube that directs the blood into the left lung and the right lung. Then the red blood cells with oxygen from the lungs passes through some valves into the left ventricle, then travels through the aorta into three tubes that leave into the upper, upper body. body. Uh, the blue blood, which has no oxygen in it, comes from the body up the atrium and then through into the ventricle through the valve up to a to the lungs and uh, then these red blood which are full of oxygen come from the lungs carrying oxygen through the atrium and through the valve into the ventricle up the aorta and um to the body The deoxygenated blood comes from the body into the right atrium. Then it goes through a valve into the right ventricle. Then it goes through another valve, then to the lungs to be oxygenated. The oxygenated blood comes from the lungs into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, and then through to the body. The blood comes from the lungs to the left atrium, then to the left ventricle. Then out the body. From the body, the blood with no oxygen goes to the right atrium. From there, they go to the um, right ventricle. And from the ventricle, the blood goes 
up and to the lungs to get more oxygen. Oxygenated blood comes from the lungs to the left atrium, through a valve to the left ventricle, up the aorta, and out to the body. Deoxygenated blood comes from the body to the right atrium, through a valve to the right ventricle, up and out to the lungs. By David and Carl. The deoxygenated blood comes from the body, goes to the right atrium. That goes to the right, the right ventricle, then goes to the lungs to get rid of the carbon dioxide. The oxygenated blood goes through the left atrium, then goes to the left ventricle, then goes to the rest of the body. The blood with no oxygen goes from the body to the right atrium, goes through a valve, to the right ventricle, goes through another valve, out to the lungs to get oxygen. The oxygenated blood comes from the lungs into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, and out to the body. The, the end. end. Deoxygenated blood comes from the body into the right atrium where it passes through valves going to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it goes to the lungs to get oxygen. Now, oxygenated blood from the lungs comes in and goes in to the left atrium. From the left atrium, a valve opens up and goes into the ventricles. From the ventricles, it goes to the body, out the aorta. Thank you. Deoxygenated blood comes from the body and into the heart. It travels into the right atrium, where valves open up and push it into the right ventricle. Then, more valves open and it travels up the body and to the lungs to get rid of carbon dioxide and get more oxygen. When they come back from the lungs, they go into the left atrium and when they go, and they go down in, through valves into the left ventricle. Then they go up through more valves into the aorta where they are distributed through all parts of the body. Thank you for watching. Deoxygenated blood comes from the body into the right side of the heart, into the atrium, and then goes through the valves into the ventricle. And then leaves through the other valves and goes to the lungs. The blood from the lungs, oxygenated, goes through the atrium to the left ventricle, through the valves, and out of the aorta to the rest of the body. The deoxygenated blood comes from the body. It goes into the right atrium. Then it goes to the right ventricle. Then it goes from there and goes to the lungs. The oxygenated blood comes from the lungs, goes into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, it goes to the aorta, and goes to the body. The blood comes from the lungs and goes to the left atrium. Then it travels down to the left ventricle. Then the valve open up, opens up and the blood travels to the aorta and then it goes to the upper and lower body. Then the blood with no oxygen comes from the body. Then it travels to the right atrium and then it moves down to the right ventricle and then it travels out of the heart to the lungs. 
oxygenated blood comes from the lungs, then to the left atrium, down to the left ventricle, and out to the body. Uh, an oxygenated blood comes from the body to the right atrium, down to the right ventricle, up to the lungs to get more oxygen. This is the heart. Below no oxygen goes into the right atrium and the right ventricle, and then it goes out to the lungs where it can get more oxygen. The blood comes back from the lungs with oxygen. It goes into the left atrium and down to the left ventricle. Then the blood goes up out to the body.